This is a taping technique for general wrist control, general wrist stability. Uh, this is a, it's a double tape, both sides, volar and dorsal side, with diamond cuts in the center with this uh, one single eye strip around the wrist to lock that wrist in for general support. I've used, used this beforehand with um, power lifters, uh, gymnasts, and crossfitters. So what you'll do is you'll measure your strip, you'll get yourself an eye strip, you do a two to four, excuse me, a four centimeter anchor, and you'll make a double diamond cut at the distal end. So what you'll do then, is you have your diamond cut, make your break at the tape, I'm going to place her hand and wrist in neutral. I'm going to pull the tape back. This can be a little tricky sometimes to get, but after a little practice, it'll be no problem. Slide that between the two middle fingers, right in between the web spaces. This locks that wrist in. Then I'm going to go ahead and apply a 50% tension to a neutral wrist. There's my first strip. Now I'm going to do a dorsal design or a, or a volar aspect of that piece of strip, the eye, eye strip here. There's my diamond cut again. Pull this off here without touching the tape. I'm going to go on the volar surface between the fingers. I'll set my dorsal strip on between the metacarpals. Neutral wrist position, 50% tension. Activate the tape. There I have a volar and dorsal surface of tape for support, both directions. Now I'm going to go ahead and take an eye strip. to lock that wrist in. I'm going to round my edges. Four centimeters, four centimeter anchor. Support that wrist. 50% tension. I'll wrap that around and lock on the radial aspect of the wrist. There we have a taping technique for general wrist stability during activity such as weightlifting, crossfitting, gymnastics.